Mark Fawcett here at the Tribute Lounge. Quick little hit today on the Burton Backseat Driver POW Surfer. So the backseat driver, Burton has stepped into the POW surf world. Uh, they did so initially with a really nice, super expensive <laughs> um, uh, surfboard POW surfer hybrid, the Resonator. And now with this backseat driver, they've taken a lot of that tech and dumped it into a board for 400 Canadian dollars. I have a bunch of friends that ride these up at Baldface uh, and they line up all sorts of different boards. Uh, companies that sell POW surfers for four times the amount of this and they said this board is equal to any of them in just about every category and I myself have ridden it um, things that I really dig about it uh, I like these little traction bumps so they'll pretty much stick to any boot I've had issues with different um, grips before not matching up super well with different boots but these babies are quite, as you can see, prominent and sticky and grippy. You can still micro move your feet, which is necessary while you're surfing or, or pow surfing for sure. Uh, but you stay on there really, really well. So constructionally, they've set this board up very much like a traditional snowboard. Uh, steel edges, which are nice for those very occasional times you hit something hard. If you don't have steel edges, you're on your face instantly. And this might give you an extra second before you, you bite it. Um, P-Tex bottom, and this is a 3D version. So uh, some of the past ones weren't as, as 3D, they were just two dimensional. This puppy's 3D, and I'll tell you what I like the best about this. The back half of this board has V, so it's not round. It actually has uh, what look like two channels, but in theory, it's a V. What that means, when you roll it over, when it rolls over, it has a nice big flat platform to stand and push against. And this is what really uh, sold me on, uh, on the Burton shapes with both the resonator and this backseat driver is that V. So it's, it rolls really easy, but once you get it onto this platform, you can push super hard on it compared to other boards I've used, which are round that they roll and they just kind of keep rolling away on you. You can adapt and ride it, of course, but this thing I could push through unbelievably well. Uh, it's 140 centimeters long, which is pretty much in the range of what most POW surfers are. Uh, and again, all the 3D and the P-Tex and you know, steel edges for $399 puts this board kind of in its own category. Bang for your buck, you're not gonna touch this thing for POW surfing. While a lot of POW surfers have a glaze finish, or something similar over top of wood. Burton has constructed this a lot like a traditional snowboard with a P-Tex bottom, which I really like. It does run super fast. You can wax it and it's easy to fix if you ding it. And that is our quick hit on the Burton Family Tree backseat driver POW surfer.